Hey everyone, I'm Amina. Welcome back to my channel. This week I'm talking about something that is particularly topical um, and that is the Stellenbosch paper where they cited or they found that colored women have low cognitive abilities. Of course, this is incorrect and racist and there's quite a lot of things that are wrong with that study, in my humble opinion. But I'm not here to talk about the study. I'm here to talk about the opportunity that that paper has allowed for us if we take it. So I want to talk about the category of colored. Okay, and then we can also talk about the category of black and all and white and etc. And the reason why I sound so disdainful is because it's actually an, a very emotional topic for me because I was raised in our household to say over and over, there is no such thing as a colored person. And my father enforced on us this, like, this belief that we are not colored. And I will explain to you why afterwards, okay? But I want you to understand where I'm coming from so you can better get my point later on, hopefully, about how we can use this really terrible study to our advantage. Not as colored people, but as people. Okay, so my dad is an important, or as I knew him, my father, Bia, was a very important figure in my life. And the, the things that shaped him were quite sad. And it was all because he was born into apartheid. So he was born in 1942, but apartheid started in 1948. So when he was six years old, apartheid was legislated. And a few years later, his father did something to him that left such an indelible imprint on his idea of what his role is in South Africa, that he definitely left his imprint on us, myself and my five other siblings. Okay, so when my father was about 9 or 10, his dad took him to the parade in Cape Town, which is the city centre. And what he did was, amongst all of these white people that were walking around, he started shouting obscenities at my father, who did not expect it. So he was saying, you effing K, the K word, right? You effing K, you effing lazy, you effing stupid, you effing K. And he was saying it in Afrikaans, which has another sort of layer of um, spice, you know. So my father tell, told us that, you know, he felt really shocked. He was confused. He was hurt. And he felt really ashamed of himself as he was standing there as a child. And then the white people that were around him uh, started laughing and pointing at my father and cheering my grandfather on. And then my grandfather leaned to, in, to my dad and whispered to him, this is the world that you have been born into. This is your fight. And because of that, my father became quite militant when it came to um, the fight against apartheid. And he taught us that if you are going to be anything, go with the people that are most oppressed, be that. So we were taught to be black, and that there was no such thing as colored, because when you believe that you are colored, you also believe the values that apartheid set upon that, so that you are better than blacks and not as good as whites. So my father never allowed us to call ourselves colored people, and even even speaking of Afrikaans was restricted just to school, because that was another way that he wanted us to fight against apartheid. So why am I telling you all this? Well. Because I dearly believe that that Stellenbosch paper shows us what can happen if we stick to the apartheid categories that were placed upon us. Imagine if we can sit up, if we can burst out of those boxes and say, okay, well, I'm not colored. And I remember a student asked me one year, if I'm not colored, then what am I? And I told him, well, that is the start of something really beautiful. Because you're not a color. There's no divine colored. There's no actual black colored white people in this world. They are just human beings and everything else is a, is a social construct. The reason why we still have the category of colored and why it can therefore be used against us later in the study is because we perpetuate this identity. You know, I know a lot of people say, oh, I'm proudly colored and whatever, but underlying that category 
is the racial hierarchization of apartheid which put white people on top then colored indian then black and i know because i'm an academic i have to use these terms all the time that in fact it just refires the, 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 the social categories that were placed upon us, it doesn't really help us move forward. At least that's my opinion. So one way, one small way that I've made a change in my life is that when I run my progressive workshops, and you're welcome to attend any time, on emotional intelligence and freeing your mind and all these wonderful things, I don't include the option of um, demographic, like a racial group. I don't, I don't have that at all as one of the questions. Instead, I replace that word, describe yourself. And I've never had an attendee describing themselves in terms of the racial ethnic group. And so, I'm asking you, as a society, because we make up society, why don't we burst open, burst through those boxes and start seeing ourselves for what we truly are? We are human beings. And you know when you say this, people scoff at it. They're like, oh my God, you're a human being, so what? That is the only thing that's true here. The rest of it is all a social construct. And if you are really honest with yourself, truly honest with yourself, you know that those categories come with a lot of racial bias, discrimination. So, this is my view. I hope that you can think about it. Here's a poll. Think about it. Let me know. And let's hope that we can inspire a whole bunch of creative, woke, amazing, young, old people <laughs> that will burst through these categories and actually create a new South Africa that is category free. Imagine that. Okay, I'm Amina. I would love to hear your viewpoints. Good, bad, ugly, whatever. Just bring it. I'm here. I want to know. And you can always join me on my WhatsApp channel over here. Uh, it is growing people. I love it. I love getting responses on WhatsApp. I love WhatsApp. Anyway, so let me know what your thoughts are, are and I am sending you all my love, not as a colored, black or white, but as a human being on this earth. Okay, much love.